Uh, my name is Mohideen Khan, and uh, as no surprise to anybody, uh, my friends call me Mo. And uh, HomeTap is a Boston-based fintech company that really makes uh, home ownership less stressful and more accessible. And that is the mission that we're all driving towards. Uh, and I run our engineering and technology team here at HomeTap. Um, I've been here less than a year. And you know, I will tell you that my first reaction when I first heard about HomeTap through a VC friend of mine was, was likely very similar to, you know, I'm certain many of the venture fizz followers out there, it's first reaction as well, which is for your mind to naturally go to some of these traditional legacy products that are available out there. Um, for example, you know, your traditional loan products that are available, but uh, what we do is something entirely different. Uh, and I'm sure you've heard that from a lot of different companies, but this is really a novel financial product. Um, and if you think about home ownership, uh, especially over the course of the last few years, uh, here in America, you, you really think about the vast multitude of folks who are house rich but cash poor, meaning, uh, you know, especially given the circumstances over the last couple of years, struggling to make ends meet on a cash flow uh, month to month basis, yet sitting on equity in their homes that traditionally the only way for them to be able to access is either sell their homes, less desirable for obvious reasons, or take out a loan, which further compounds their cash flow problem on a month to month basis. So what we do in our novel first financial product is we will actually make an investment in the equity of a homeowner's home um, and give them near immediate access to cash uh, in exchange for a future percentage of their home's value. So as the home appreciates, we share. Uh, potentially if the home depreciates, we share as well. Um, and the cash can be used for a multitude of different reasons. We have a, a, a slew of different use cases for our homeowners, but some of the more popular ones are paying off debt, whether that be credit card debt or you know, medical bills. Uh, we have homeowners who uh, want to start a business. We have homeowners who want to do renovations or you know, fund education. And so all of those are, are kind of our typical use models for our novel financial product. And as you can imagine, all of these things uh, are make it very obvious uh, towards the mission statement that we have of making home ownership less stressful and more accessible. I think I'll take a bit of a circuitous answer to the organizational question about how we're structured. So um, in much the same way that the financial product that we offer is, is novel and unique, um, you know, so is our business and so is our application of software. So. Uh, it's particularly unique for me because I have never prior to HomeTap worked for a company where the technology itself is not the product directly. Our product is our home equity investment. So I think, again, naturally, uh, a typical engineer mentality would be to think about the additional layer of abstraction that creates between the work that we're doing and our customers, but it's actually quite the contrary. So even though the software is not the direct product, it enables everything that our business does, either directly interfacing with our homeowners or all of the facets of the business internally at HomeTap. And what I mean by that is we have uh, an absolutely amazing marketing team that is making our product more accessible to more, more homeowners. We have uh, an ACE sales team, which we internally call is our investment managers. Uh, and we have a truly passionate operations team making sure that all of the back end process of how you get investments into homeowners' hands happens uh, you know, as efficiently as is possible. So prior, uh, our engineering organization was actually structured historically with more of a front end and a back end focus. But knowing more intimately how our business is done, it made a lot of sense for us to be aligned in the same facets. So our engineering organization is actually structured so that instead of having dedicated front end and back end resources and recognizing that the needs of our marketing team and our sales team and our operations teams are a combination of both of those and much more project oriented, the engineering organization is actually structured in the same fashion. So we have a team dedicated towards the needs of our marketing organization. We have a team dedicated to our sales folks, our investment managers, and we have a team dedicated to our operations team. And we also have recognizing that we have legacy technology and we need dedicated effort towards thinking about how our platform will evolve. We actually also have a team of architects 
Um, certainly not your traditional ivory tower folks, but you know people who are hands-on working on each of the individual projects, but also available to think about what the future of our technology needs to look like, how our platform will evolve, but also be available to you know, act as guidance and mentors towards all of the new development that we're doing in each of those teams. As far as cool projects are concerned, uh, so this is great. Uh, given that the organization is actually divided up into these different facets, and by the way, we of course will have mobility and, and availability for people to be able to move between the teams and, and get engaged with the, you know, the, the technology with which they're most passionate. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you some examples. So if you are passionate about front end, uh, our marketing team uh, is building a very modern, um, you know, self-building front end website with capabilities of integration of multiple different content management systems, but also making it possible for our marketing folks to, to edit and create new content dynamically and autonomously. We are uh, integrating with all sorts of partners, referral partners, website partners, and the APIs that we've created to uh, add all sorts of extensibility to the way in which we communicate with those homeowners. Um, if you are passionate about the sales process, uh, we're, we're doing a lot of really unique integrations with um, you know, native sales working environments, which are third-party tools. Um, and if you're back and passionate, we've got uh, you know, a multitude of work for uh, things like optimizing our data models, because we literally you know, have hundreds of abstractions that we need to work with. Um, if you're passionate about data science and how that can be used to integrate uh, you know, predictive capabilities for the complexity of a particular application and how we could dynamically flow that into the workflow of our existing employees so that we get you know, decisions to our homeowners and investments to our homeowners as soon as possible. All of those facets are a part of our equation. Uh, and also, you know, we're very much in the nascency of our next generation growth process as well. Um, so you know, our original application admittedly was more monolithic and uh, that suited the needs of the company in that time as best as possible. I'm very much not one who believes that you know, the only way to build an architecture for software is to adopt the latest buzzwords and you know, start with a microservices environment. Um, but it's obvious to us that we need to be able to migrate to a more service-oriented architecture. And so that's very much happening right now for us as well. So if you're interested in modern software architecture and you know, the evolution of a needs-based service-oriented architecture, um, that's where we're headed as well. So really all facets of the different types of our organization and different areas of software development are, are, are parts of the cool projects that we're working on here at HomeTap. Honestly, uh, the tech stack is likely something that many of your followers are you know, very familiar with. For example, uh, we have uh, a largely Python-based backend, um, and you know, we have multiple frameworks, but the, the bulk of the work for backend is done in, in the Django framework, and we do have some Flask as well. Uh, our front end is, is largely React, and you know, we are definitely involved in modern single-page application development for much of the front end work. Um, but we also have, uh, in, in Again, the early stages of our, our continuous integration and continuous deployment phases, a modern CI, CD, and DevOps pipeline that we're working on building, uh, and you know all of the technology that's associated with building a you know a cloud native and cloud resident application. So you know our tech stack is uh, what the, the majority of the industry is uh, familiar with and using to be able to facilitate the capabilities that you need in any cloud native environment. I would actually say that our interview process is very much an analog of HomeTap as a company, meaning uh, that it's a combination of you know, traditional interview process as well as novel process. And what I think is you know, a bit non-traditional, uh, but unique to our environment and uh, helps both us as well as our candidates get a really good sense of what it's like to work at HomeTap and what it involves is you know, your traditional initial reach out with, with our fantastic HR team, um, and we have internal recruiters uh, who will initially engage with folks and, and talk to them about what it is that they're passionate about and learn more about them. Uh, and then our second phase is usually a, a more technical deep dive with the hiring manager of uh, any one of the teams or myself. And uh, the, uh, again, pretty traditional stages in an interview process, but the, the next phase uh, we do ask our candidates to to perform an exercise, a take home exercise, and we certainly don't want folks to you know make a, a huge week, weeks long project out of it. But um, we give candidates the opportunity to then join a panel, which is cross functional, made up of you know product folks, QA folks, senior and junior developers, management, 
Uh, and this is really an opportunity for the candidates to know what it's like a day in the life of engineering here at HomeTap. Um, this is quite literally how our process works as far as moving projects forward. And uh, we find that it's best for candidates to really get a natural sense of, you know, how uh, we have a you know, very uh, high sense of humor environment and, you know, our interview process and panel is reflective of that. And I think it, it helps candidates to both be at ease and recognizing that, you know, they've put time and effort into this exercise. They get an opportunity to share it with the team. Uh, they get an opportunity to, to show off their capabilities and skill set, but they also get to see what it's like to work with the actual people in the environment with, you know, with whom they would be day-to-day uh, -day operating. Uh, and then after the panel, we will have, again, kind of more of your traditional sense of one-on-ones with some of the folks that are on the team. Um, and sometimes those, uh, you know, dig into the, the classic technological elements. But, you know, one of the things that I'm sure a lot of companies will say, but HomeTap absolutely lives by, is that our values are a large part of our culture. And so our interview process uh, actually involves almost all of our interviewers um, you know, focusing on the things that are core values to the company, you know, for example, putting the team in the homeowner first, you know, creating solutions and collaborating with trust. So this is another facet in the way that we interview folks and, you know, uh, candidates who, who are excited about working in an environment like that will, will, will really enjoy uh, the, the interview process here at HomeTap. There are so many answers to the, to the question of why now is an ideal to, uh, time to join HomeTap. So I guess I'll start by saying that uh, in 2021, we more than doubled the entire HomeTap organization. Um, and throughout the course of our next phase of development, especially within engineering, we'll come close to tripling the size of the engineering organization. So we are very much in a, in a phase of unprecedented growth for the company. So folks that are excited about you know, coming into an organization that is growing and all the challenges and exciting opportunity for innovation that happens just natively in the sense of that growth and technology. Um, but, you know, as we're building out this team and as we can uh, create further and further reach for access to our homeowners, all of these new areas of technology are going to require, you know, dedicated focus. And the autonomy that comes from that um, is something that I find, you know, as an engineer is, is hugely, uh, you know, exciting and uh, an opportunity that, that I'm drawn to. And that's much for, you know, much of the reason why I came here to HomeTap. Um, but also, you know, if you are passionate about people who are genuinely interested in doing best by each other, now is the time to be able to join HomeTap. Uh, I came here excited about that opportunity and I'm very proud that we continue to foster and grow those values here. And now is the perfect time to add to that and bring your flavor of how you bring technology to help homeowners to the table.